This is going to be a quick tutorial on reclusively searching directories. With grep, reclusively means just basically searching subdirectories. So if I list out the files in this folder, you'll see that I have one HTML page, and then we have a subfolder. I can list out the files inside that folder. And you'll see there's a bunch of files in here. Uh, we got some images, some CSS files, some JavaScript files. Now, if I want to search through all of these files, and we also have some subdirectories within there, and I want to search all the folders within this folder, that's what reclusively is. So what we're going to say is grep, and we'll search for, well, I know that this is a web page, so I know somewhere in there there's going to be the word uh, img for image. Uh, so we can do that. You can do dash r, you can do it there, or you can do it before the, the words you're searching, which I think looks a little bit cleaner. And then don't forget a period at the end, that just means start in the current directory. We'll hit enter there, and you can see we get a lot of output on the screen because it found a lot of instances of IMG. It tells you uh, in purple here, at least if your system is color coded like mine, the folder that it's in. Here it's finding it in that main HTML file. And uh, it's just showing every line that has IMG in it. And really looking through this, that was a bad example because it seems like it only found stuff in that uh, first folder. So let's quickly, uh, just for example's sake, go into this next uh, folder and cat out, uh, let's see, let's have a look at our files here. Oops. Uh, let's see what's inside this home file. We'll say cat home. Okay, we'll say this word capped here. We'll go back out to this next directory and once again we'll grep dash r uh, what we're looking for and a period. We'll hit enter and you can see that it found that word twice inside that file even though it was inside a subdirectory, not the directory I'm in. So that is reclusively searching with grep. And uh, the big part is don't forget to specify what uh, folder you're in uh, or you want to search from. And if it's you want to start in the current directory, put a period there. If you don't put that, you'll be sitting there for a while with nothing coming up on the screen wondering why it's taking so long. So reclusively searching with grep. Hope you found this useful. Please visit the links in the description. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.